welcome to part 32 of python tutorial in this session i am going to show you how to use past statements in python so let's get started in python we can use or provide past statements under a function or under a loop like while loop or for loop or under a condition block like if condition statements etc now let's understand what is the purpose of providing this past statements under a function loop or condition block in python for example if you want to create a function but you don't want to implement the function right away you don't want to write the function code right away or if you want to implement the function code in future you want to create the function right now but you want to implement the function in the future not now in that case instead of keeping that particular function blank we can simply mention a past statement now let me practically demonstrate this for you for that i'll open this pycharm id and here we have this sample python file i'll create a sample function okay let's say def some function i'm creating but i don't want to implement this function i want to create the function but i don't want to implement this function right away okay so so if i keep it blank it doesn't look good right so let's create few more functions let's say subtraction function and i want to keep this functions blank i want to create this function but i don't want to implement let's create uh, three or four functions and uh, don't implement them okay for now i don't want to implement this any of these functions i am creating i just want to keep them blank instead of keeping them blank what we have to do is we just have to pass this past statement okay we have to provide this past statement here okay instead of keeping this functions blank it's better to provide the past statement okay it's a better approach so what will happen if i call this kind of function since i have not implemented the functions and in place of that implementation i have provided the sample statements like pass so will something happen if i call this functions nothing will happen guys these are dummy statements okay they will not get executed so if i call this sum function or subtraction function or multiplication function or a division function nothing will happen guys okay only the thing is you are not implementing the functions and you want to implement these functions in the future for now instead of keeping them blank you are providing the past statement and when you run these functions or call and run these functions you will not see any thing in the output okay so that is the purpose of the past statements in python guys so apart from using the past statements in functions we can also use past statements in a loop like for loop for example for i in range of 1 comma 11 okay i am creating a for loop in python and here i don't want to implement this for loop so instead of keeping it blank i'll provide a past statement if i run this code nothing will happen as usual okay similarly i can provide the past statement in a condition okay condition block like if statements etc okay i'll create two variables a is equal to 5 b is equal to 4 and i'll say if a is greater than b colon i don't want to implement this function uh, i mean i don't want to implement this this uh, condition statement okay i don't want to implement this condition statement In, instead of keeping it blank just provide past statement that's it so here a is greater than b that is 5 is greater than 4 is 2 but past statement will not be executed right it is a dummy statement okay you will not get any output okay so this is how we have to use past statements in python if you don't want to implement a function or loop or a condition block right away and if you want to implement that in the future so but if you want to create them okay but you want don't want to implement in that case you create them and simply pass the past statements under them okay whenever you are ready you can replace the past statement with your implementation code so this is the purpose of the past statements in python guys so that's it guys thank you bye